Do you wanna know what it takes to be successful at barbecue? Don't we all? Well, today I've got five tips that you're not gonna hear on other channels. I've seen plenty of these videos and they never cover these points. It is time for me to reveal my secrets and my top five biggest tips that I can give you to be successful with your backyard barbecue. While I've got you here, welcome to Anderson Smoke Show. And if it's your first time here, you're gonna get a ton of tips and recipes for this summer and your backyard barbecue adventure. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so that you can follow along. Now let's get into my top five tips for successful backyard barbecue. When it comes to backyard barbecue, there are very simple things that can make you successful. You could have all the grills in the world. You could have the 10 grills and smokers that you see behind me. But if you don't have an idea what you're doing, none of that matters. And that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna give you five of my most important tips. Now believe me, I'm not here to knock anybody else's tips video because they're all valid points. But these are things that I think are important that are often overlooked. Tip number one have a game plan. I get comments all the time where people are three hours in and they ask me, what do I do next? While I appreciate the support and I appreciate that you want my opinion, I'm probably not gonna get to you in time. The worst thing that you can do is get into a cook and not know what you're gonna do. There are three key components of this. The first one, do I have everything I need? The second one, what do I need to do to make this happen? And the third one, what are my expectations? What is my desired outcome? If you can identify all three of those, you've got yourself a game plan and that's gonna get you started and that's gonna get you set up for success. Tip number two, taste your rubs. Taste your rubs, taste your rubs, taste your rubs. I can't stress that enough. I have personally experienced this myself where I got a new rub and never tried it. I put it on a piece of meat and found out, damn it, it is so salty to the point where it almost wasn't enjoyable. And as a matter of fact, when I was proposing this idea to a friend this morning, he told me the exact same thing happened to him last week on vacation. He bought fresh fish and he bought a seasoning that they had at the fish market. He made the fish for a group of people and it was hot as hell almost to the point where they couldn't even eat it. And that right there is a huge mistake. If you can avoid that by simply tasting your rub beforehand, you're not only gonna know how salty is it. What is the flavor profile? Is it too sweet for what I'm trying to do? Is it hot? Is it, is it too much pepper? Whatever. If you're gonna take a cut of meat that you've spent money on, why not take two seconds and taste your rub? You're gonna learn a lot about it and you're gonna be able to set yourself up for success. And that's what this video is about, setting yourself up for success. Tip number three, quit cooking to time and focus on temperature and other important factors. When it comes to barbecue, there are so many things that can change the dynamic of your cook to where time is irrelevant. You need to cook to temperature. The difference between salmonella and dry chicken is temperature. Get yourself an instant read thermometer, like one of these Thermapen ones or Thermapen MK4s. Obviously there are other thermometers out there, but these are lab calibrated so you know that you're getting consistent and accurate results. When you stop worrying about time and you start to focus on temperature and tenderness and doneness, it's gonna turn your backyard barbecue game around for the better, I guarantee it. I've seen it time and time again. I still remember my first instant read thermometer it changed everything. When it comes to that, and it comes to temperature, all of the pits that you see behind me, for the most part, have temperature probes. There's a difference between the probe that's on board on the controller on your pellet grill, than what an instant read does. Those are great for getting a ballpark. You wanna track the progress of your meat. It's not great for that final read. What I do when it comes to those probes is I look at it to ballpark it. When I get to around the five or six degrees from where I wanna be, I pull out my instant read and I start checking it because that is where the money's at. Get yourself an instant read thermometer. Get yourself a good one. They, they are a little bit expensive sometimes. These are around the $100 range. 
but it will change everything, I promise you. If you're interested in picking up one of these Thermalworks Instant Read Thermometers or any of their other products, I've got a link down in my description. Go ahead and check them out. The fourth tip that I've got for you today, that is to join a forum, a Facebook group, a Reddit forum, because everybody is like-minded and they're there for one reason, and that's to make barbecue great again. Not only are these forums a great place for recipes, it's a great place to make friends, it's a great place to get new ideas, and it's a great place to get feedback. Join a forum. I have friends that have them, like my friend here, Ricer, at Dead Broke Barbecue. He's got a great forum with some competition guys who are medal winning, and they're in there all the time, all the time, answering questions, giving tips, and just helping everybody out. It's a great community, and there are many others. Just get yourself into one, and you're gonna learn a lot. My fifth and final tip for today, have fun, people. Have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't worry about what other people say. If you like your ribs fall off the, the bone to the point where they're almost like a pulled pork sandwich, if that's how you like it, great. If you like them to where you can't even bite them off the bone, just make sure that they're uh, safe to eat. But that's you, man, do what you want. Don't let people convince you otherwise. Don't let people make you think like you're doing something wrong. Yes, try something new, try a new method, reach out, do something you've never done before, but do what you like best. If you like your steak blue, blue is fine. If you like your steak black, black is fine. Who cares what he thinks? You shouldn't, I don't. Taylor Swift said it best, haters gonna hate, hate, hate. I am part of a lot of forums online, on Facebook, on Reddit. I follow a lot of things on Instagram and other forums of social media. And there are people out there who are nothing but trolls. There are people that are nothing but haters. They're not there to help you. Don't let them discourage you. Don't let them prevent you from enjoying what you enjoy most. And if you're like me, that's backyard barbecue. If you like backyard barbecue, you like helpful tips, you like technical overviews, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show. And that's to make barbecue great again, 2024. <laughs>